Christy Geis, Connected Vehicle Consumer Marketing Manager, and today I'm going to take you through Sync 3, including Apple CarPlay, as well as take a look at Sync Connect with Ford Pass. So here we have our Sync 3 system. This is all new for the 2017 Ford Fusion, which is what we're in, a 2017 Ford Fusion Platinum. And it's new to the Fusion, but we did launch Sync 3 in 2016 model year, and we're bringing it to the rest of our lineup uh, in 17. So all Ford vehicles will have the option to have available Sync 3. So with Sync 3 here, we have all new hardware, all new so software compared to our previous systems, and it's going to include enhanced voice recognition as well as this high capacitive touchscreen making it highly responsive to go from area to area and it also allows for me to pinch and zoom with the maps as well as swipe when there's pages that have multiple um, pages within the section so I can swipe because of that capacitive touchscreen. I also have here the feature bar along the bottom which shows all the areas of the Sync 3 system. So here I have my audio. The really the main feature that we want to highlight with Sync 3 is the design intent. Was meant to make it simple and intuitive to use. So you see here very large buttons. If I want to change the sources, it's very easy for me to switch between the different sources because of the big tile buttons on the Sync 3 system. I can also um, use uh, the Sync 3 system to change my climate if the vehicle is equipped with that and the 2017 Ford Fusion is. I also have a phone menu where I can add a phone, be connected here, use um, it to dial, but I also want to make sure I'm using my voice recognition and dial right from the steering wheel control voice recognition button. I have embedded nav in this vehicle and it's available with the, the Sync 3 system as an option. Again, I mentioned uh, the pinch to zoom. Also, we have included in here very one-line destination, making it easier to uh, enter a destination into Sync 3 all on one line, including when you're adding it. Also, when I'm adding uh, different, um, different locations, it's going to prompt me for what I'm searching for to make it easier while you're driving to find something. Um, while you're entering that before you go on a drive to enter a location. If you are driving, you want to make sure you're using voice recognition to enter a navigation route. Just going back to Sync 3, I also have on here Sync App Link. This is a way for me to connect with my phone and bring apps to the Sync 3 touchscreen as well as allow you to voice control some of those applications. And all my settings are in one location as well. I can see multiple settings with the swipe of the screen. With 2017 model year vehicles, we are bringing a couple new features to uh, Sync 3, and that includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So I'm going to tether my phone. And when I tether my phone, it's going to prompt me to see if I want to use Apple CarPlay. So I can either continue or disable that, and I can always change it later in the settings as well. So you do have to be tethered to use Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. I'm going to press continue. I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. And now I'm going to be taken into the Apple CarPlay experience. In the Apple CarPlay experience, I'm going to be able to interact with different um, different features of my phone, different apps of my phone. So you can hear, see I have my phone app, my music app. With Maps, it's going to be Apple Maps as well as my me messaging and other audio uh, apps. I do have Pandora on my phone, which is also integrated with CarPlay, so you can see that integration here as well. And I can use the touchscreen to interact with any of those apps, as well as with the voice recognition, I'm going to be talking to Siri now that I'm in the CarPlay environment. When I hit this Ford Sync icon, I'm going to be taken into this Sync 3 Apple CarPlay integrated view, where I'm going to be able to control some of my standard features, such as audio and climate. But when I hit phone maps or, or Apple CarPlay, I'm going to be taken back into the full CarPlay experience. And with the voice recognition, it's going to continue to be Siri. So if I'm tethered and I have CarPlay enabled, it is going to be uh, Siri and I'm going to be into the CarPlay experience. 
Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate using Siri to start a navigation route. Take me to the Hyatt. Getting directions to Hyatt Regency Westlake. Great, so Siri listened to my command. She brought up the navigation route. The address is there as well as I'm going to see an ETA and I'm going to be able to start my route right from here. I can see my ETA as well as how many minutes and how many miles Starting I went ahead and started Regency my navigation route. So uh, Siri is recognizing, um, it recognizes previous visits as well as looks, looks into your history to see where you have been and it also looks for closest uh, route so you don't always have to enter an in an address. It's going to... Um, know where you, you're wanting to go. So with Sync 3 and Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, you can use this technology to, to stay connected, but also keep your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. Thank you.